After a trial that lasted more than three months, a jury convicted six men for the murder of rapper FBG Duck. Justice has finally been served for rapper FBG Duck and all six alleged killers have been nailed after a trial that has lasted for about three months. His mom can now smile as her resilience and the efforts of the detectives paid off in the end, convicted on Wednesday for their roles in the 2020 murder. All six members and affiliates of Oblock found guilty in the murder of FBG Duck. Sentencing dates have been set for August and September, as deemed fit by the law. Before we go on, feds tied that shooting to a brutal Southside gang war, stoked in part on social media and through rap diss tracks. Today, Weekly's mother thanked prosecutors for bringing her son's killers to justice. Kind of like this video and subscribe to this channel. Now let's get right into it. FBG Duck, whose real name is Carlton Weekly, was a talented hip hop artist born on December 6th, 1993 in Chicago, Illinois. He was a member of the Flyboy Gang rap group and gained recognition for tracks like Face, Look At Me, and Do It Like Me. So what's your favorite Duck track? FBG Duck's breakout song Slide was released in 2018, catapulting him into the spotlight. The track, marked by its enigmatic beats and raw lyrics, showcased Duck's distinctive style. As a key figure in Chicago's drill scene, Slide became a defining piece in his musical journey, leaving a lasting impact on listeners. Unfortunately, he passed away on August 4th, 2020, at the age of 26. It's pretty sad that FBG Duck didn't get to live longer than this, possibly explore more in his career path and have quality lifetime memories with his family. Growing up in Woodlawn, Chicago, FBG Duck graduated from the University of Chicago. His mother, Vishina White Weekly, and sister, Andrea White Weekly, were part of his close-knit family. Boy, it's important to note that he was associated with the Southeast Chicago Gangsta Disciple Gang. In his music career, FBG Duck stayed true to the Chicago drill music scene, focusing on tracks like Gang Anthem and contributing to mixtapes such as Grand Cloud. And look at me, he chose to stick to the drill scene even as others transitioned to more mainstream music. Unfortunately, FBG Duck was shot and killed on Michigan Ave in Chicago. The motive behind his death was speculated to be related to a video where he mentioned the gang's rivals. Duck's verses were a testimony to his authenticity. He didn't sugarcoat the struggles or glamorize the streets. Instead, he laid bare the harsh truths in a language that resonated with those who walked the same path. His voice became a megaphone for the unheard, a conduit for the stories of the forgotten corners of Chicago. His lyrics were more than just entertainment. They were a document of the streets, testament to the resilience of a community often overlooked. As the beat dropped and Duck's flow took center stage, his storytelling prowess shone. Every word was a carefully chosen brick, building the foundation of his narrative. He narrated his journey with the precision of a seasoned wordsmith, taking the listener on a guided tour through the alleys and avenues of his life. Whether it was the pain of losing friends to violence or the triumph of overcoming adversity, Duck's verses were a detailed map of his lived experiences. When the alleged Chicago gang hit on rapper FBG Duck in 2020, it became a federal racketeering case. The fatal shooting of Chicago rapper FBG Duck unfolded outside a luxury clothing store in the first block of East Oak Street. The incident was allegedly tied to an ongoing gang war between Duck's Tukaville faction of the Gangsta Disciples and the O-Block set of the Black Disciples. But, along with his girlfriend and another shopper, became victims in what authorities described as a brazen gang-related attack. The assailants, later identified as a member of the O-Block Street Gang, targeted Duck as part of the escalating feud sparked by drill rap diss tracks between him and O-Block leader King Vaughn. Real name? Devon Bennett. The shooting took place in broad daylight marking a disturbing act of violence in the Gold Coast area. As Duck and his companions were outside the luxury clothing store, they were ambushed by armed individuals associated with the O-Block gang. Charles C. Murder Liggins, identified as one of the alleged shooters, was subsequently found guilty of multiple counts, including committing the murder, engaging in a conspiracy to murder Duck, and using a gun in relation to the shooting. Kenneth Kenny Mac Robertson and to Carlos Slos Offered, allegedly getaway drivers also faced convictions related to their roles in the shooting. The attack resulted in the tragic death of FBG Duck, who was fatally shot during the ambush. His girlfriend and another shopper were wounded in the violent incident. The aftermath of the shooting left the community in shock, shedding light on the dangerous dynamics of gang conflicts that spilled into the upscale neighborhood of the Gold Coast. Three years after Duck's tragic death, 
The courtroom proceedings intensified. Jury selection was the first challenge, with 150 individuals showing up for screening. Only 12 were chosen to decide the fate of six alleged Old Block gang members accused of involvement in Duck's murder. The federal prosecutors portrayed Old Block as a well-organized group, emphasizing meeting dues and a hierarchy where the higher you climb, the more you earn through violent activities. They argued that this wasn't just a street gang, but a full-fledged criminal enterprise, with Duck's murder being another step in their criminal activities. Accusations weren't limited to the feds. Prosecutors claimed the accused openly bragged about their involvement, adding to the negative publicity. Duck's mother echoed similar sentiments in a recent interview, stating that her son's killers couldn't keep quiet about it. Duck's mother openly shared her opinions on who she believed was responsible for her son's death, frequently mentioning King Vaughn's name. She didn't just point fingers, she presented her narrative, connecting the dots about how she believed the events unfolded, including her theories about the leaked information regarding Duck's location. It's essential to note that these are her perspectives, her side of the story. Given the circumstances, it's understandable that she wanted to voice her opinions. In a landmark verdict, a federal jury in Chicago convicted six members of associates of the O Block street gang on racketeering offenses, including the murder of FBG Duck. The jury's decision came after a three-month trial in the United States District Court in Chicago, shedding light on the gang's violent activities and the conspiracy to eliminate weekly. The convicted individuals were found to have participated in a criminal organization that employed violence to assert control over perceived territories on the south side of Chicago. The O Block gang, notorious for publicly claiming responsibility for their violent actions, utilized social media and music to promote their criminal enterprise. The jury determined that the defendants conspired to murder FBG Duck, aiming to solidify and enhance their positions within the gang hierarchy. The list of those convicted for committing murder and aid of racketeering includes Charles Liggins, age 32, Kenneth Robertson, age 30, to Carlos Offord, age 32, Christopher Thomas, age 24, Marcus Smart, 25, and Ralph Turpin, 34. The jury returned its verdicts, and the convictions carry mandatory life sentences in federal prison. This stands as another reminder to lawbreakers and all of those involved in crime that their secrets will always be fetched out. Due to security concerns, the panel opted not to disclose their identities. The jury deliberated for approximately 16 hours over three days before delivering the guilty verdict. United States District Judge Martha Packo scheduled sentencing dates for each defendant. Charles Liggins is said to be sentenced on August 6, 2024, followed by Kenneth Robinson, August 8, 2024, Marcus Smart on August 13, 2024, Ralph Turpin on August 15, 2024, to Carlos Offord on September 4, 2024, and Christopher Thomas on September 17, 2024, Maurice Pascal, acting U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, joined forces with Wes Wheeler and Larry Snelly, FBI and police chiefs, to reveal crucial information about recent convictions. Cook County's team played a pivotal role, combining federal and local efforts. Pasquale stated plainly, Today's verdicts confirm Carlton Weekly's guilt in the murder. We're committed to tackling gang-related chaos in Chicago. Wheeler supported the message, saying, Convictions carry significant consequences in Chicago, particularly for murder. Snelling emphasized unity, saying, We're collectively addressing hood violence head-on. This marked a significant milestone in the fight against gangs, sending a clear message that crime comes with a cost and justice is a priority. To celebrate justice served on FBG Duck, his mom threw a party. Cheers to justice for FBG Duck. His mom brings the heat, throwing a badge called FBG Duck Justice Party. Sometimes people ask questions like, was FBG Duck a good example? Well, the thing is, FBG Duck's status as a good example depends on the perspective taken. On one hand, his authenticity and raw storytelling in his music provided a genuine representation of the struggles many faced in marginalized communities. He used his platform to shed light on issues often overlooked in mainstream media and aimed to be a positive force in his community. However, like many artists navigating the challenges of fame in the streets, Duck's life was complex. He faced controversy and legal issues, which can complicate the perception of him as a role model. It's essential to consider the entirety of his life and actions, acknowledging both the positive impact he sought to make and the challenges he faced. Whether FBG Duck is seen as a good example depends on the values one prioritizes and the aspects of his life and art that are emphasized in that assessment. What are your thoughts so far on the case and the sentence dished? Let us know in the comments below. You know it's right to say that the impact of this case extends beyond the courtroom. 
that eats deep within the hip-hop community and addresses the broader issue of gang-related violence in urban areas. The role of social media and music in fueling gang conflicts, as exemplified in this case, raises questions about the responsibility of artists and platforms in mitigating such tensions. The reactions and statements from other artists, community leaders, and the general public provide a multifaceted perspective on the implications of this trial. The conviction of six members and affiliates of Oblock in the murder of FPG Duck marks a significant milestone in the fight against gang-related violence. The trial unraveled the intricacies of a gang war that spilled into an upscale neighborhood, bringing justice for the victim and his family. As the sentencing dates approach, the case serves as a stark reminder that crime comes with a cost, and collective efforts are essentially to address the root causes of violence in communities.